Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings. Fly to this side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Now stretch your airplane wings into a big circle out in front. Bring that circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side, over to the other side. One last stretch, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a great day so far. Before we move on to the calendar and weather chart, we have three things that we need to do quickly. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has some buttons underneath my chin. So I'm going to button them up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we can move on to the calendar and weather chart. First, let's start off with the month, which is right up here. Do you know what the month is? September. Today is September 29th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was September 28th. And today is September 29th, and right up here we have the year, 2021 or 2021. Let's see how many days are left in the month of September. We'll take out those counting fingers. I don't even think we need to warm up our counting fingers today, because look at this. After today, we only have one more day left in the month of September. Tomorrow is the last day of September. Listen carefully to the words in the next song and see if you can hear what month comes after September. And if you know the words, you can sing with me. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Did you hear that? The month that comes after September will be October. Tomorrow is the last day of September and Friday will be the first day of October. Let's hold up seven fingers like this for the day of the week song. And you can sing along with me if you know the words. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and go over the days together. Listen for the sound that the day starts with, and you can tell me what day it is. Yesterday was t Tuesday. That means that today is w Wednesday. Tomorrow will be s Thursday. But let's sing today is Wednesday together. It goes like this. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season right now, friends? Fall. That's right. It's the beginning of fall. What are some things that you like to do in the autumn? 
My favorite thing to do is to go outside and to notice all of the leaves that are changing color. They also smell really good too. And at the bottom of the chart, we have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together and then we can share what we see outside of the window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, it's mostly cloudy outside again, but the sun is shining just a little bit. This morning, it's kind of cool outside, but it's supposed to warm up later. So that's why my temperature chart is right between light blue and orange. What about you, friends? Do you have fall-like weather where you live, or is it different? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Can you tell me the sound that this letter makes? Let's do that together. D. D. What letter is this? D. This is a capital or uppercase D. D says D. D. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. Inside of this box, I have a picture of something that starts with the letter D. D. I'll give you a few clues, and if you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first clue. This is something that is sweet. This is in the shape of a circle, and usually it has a hole in the middle of it. Hmm, what could it be? Let's take a look. This is a picture of a donut. So donuts are usually circular shape with a hole in the middle, and they are very sweet to eat. It looks like this would be a chocolate donut with sprinkles on it. Donut starts with the letter D. D. This is how you write in uppercase D. D. One more time. And here's the number of the week. What double digit number is this? 18, that's right. When you write the number 18, you write two numbers. First, you write the number one, and then you write the number eight. One, eight, 18. Let's count to the number 18 together using the large bead frame. Today, we're going to count to the number 18 using the large bead frame. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 110, eight units, 18. There's one more thing to count today inside of the number box. Let me gather up all of these pebbles. And as I count them, I'm going to line them up. I'm going to have two rows of nine to make 18 altogether. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, halfway there, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and one more makes 18, 18 pebbles. We've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week. So now let's move on to the sign of the week. Do you remember how to say fall in sign language? 
you take one of your arms in front of you like this, and with four of your other fingers, you're going to brush downward. Fall. At this time of the year, my garden is coming to an end. We recently picked the pumpkins, but there are still so many tomatoes left on the vine, both red and green. Now that the weather is cooling off, the kale is growing again, and so is the spinach. After all the corn is picked, the stalks dry up and turn brown. We cut down the corn stalks and tie them together and then put them on our front and back porches next to the pumpkins. But in a few more weeks, the garden will be ready to clean up and be put to bed. We pull out all of the annual plants that are no longer producing and give them to the chickens. Flowers and vegetables that were never picked decompose and drop their seeds and may pop up again next year. We cover the garden beds with mulch to protect them from the cold and snow that the winter will eventually bring. Let's move on to today's work. For today's work, we are going to be doing a seed study. For this work, I recommend using a type of a squash. I'm using this delicata squash right here. You can also use a pumpkin or a gourd because I find that squash and pumpkins have the nice big thick seeds that are interesting and easy to scoop out. So I have this delicata squash right here. This is one that my neighbors grew in their garden and I just cut it in half. Cutting a squash or a pumpkin in half can be pretty tricky because the skin is so thick. So I recommend having a grown-up do that part for you. But once it's cut in half, I can open it up and look to see what's inside. Oh, one seed already fell out. So I also have two bowls right here. This bowl is going to be for the seeds. And this bowl is going to be for this gooey mess that we scoop out. I have a spoon. You can also just use your hands. I know that my kids just like using their hands whenever we do a seed study. And I'm just going to scoop out the seeds like this and drop them into the bowl. If you have a magnifying glass, you can also add that to today's work to get a closer look at what's inside of the squash or the pumpkin. So right here, I'm just chopping out the inside that's holding all of the seeds together. This extra part right here, I'm going to put into the second bowl. This is something that my chickens will really like to eat once I'm finished with the work. So keep scooping. And it looks like I've uncovered another layer of seeds right there. So I'll scoop those out, add them to the second bowl. Oh, I see that some seeds are a lot larger than the others. These ones are a lot bigger, but look at these little tiny baby seeds right here. The good thing about delicata squash is that you can eat the entire thing. So I can even eat this tough skin. Once I finish scooping out the inside, I'll just slice it up and season it, put it in the oven, and enjoy it for lunch. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my page by checking out my Patreon account and gain access to bonus features for your child. At this point, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring as well as curriculum planning. So please feel free to reach out for more information. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. So let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, I'll see you next time. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you tomorrow.